You're listening to Real Table Talk with Leah Renee, presented by the 419 Grind. Yes, welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Real Table Talk with Miss Leah Renee, the one and only. Thank you for tuning in. This is my 11th episode, and I got a special guest in the building, a special friend of mine, my boy Marquise Anthony, owner of Hattie Cakes and Creations. How are you doing today, Marquise? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Thank you for coming in Appreciate to you chat me. with me. Thank you. Um, so like I said, you are the owner of Hattie's, Hattie's Cakes and Creations for people who don't know you, but many, many, many people know you because, you know, we're friends on social media and I'm always seeing people like your clients, you know, um, giving you your flowers. Like, you know, right, right, I, right. I see you post, you know, your pictures of different projects that you're working on, but right. What I see more uh, more than anything is your customers and the loyal, you know, kind of fan base that you've yeah. created. It's really amazing. That's got to be a blessing. Um, you also work for HA International yes, ma'am. Um, as a lead operator. Yes. So what exactly does a lead operator do? What do you do there? Um, I have a small crew under me. Um, I operate all the machinery there and kind of just have my own little avenue there. Okay, so what type of industry is that though? Like, what are uh, they? Chemicals. We okay. deal with like all different type of uh, chemicals and things of that nature. It's a chemical engineering plant. Okay, yeah, because that's why you always have on yes, that. Um, yeah, I there. used to be in the military, and um, my job was chemical operations okay. specialist, okay. and so we used to kind of look like that too. Okay. We would have to okay. put, you know, put on yeah, that be suit, safe. put on that mask, yeah. and it was a whole lot. Like we would yeah. have to carry the masks around all the time, and. I hated it. <laughs> it's pretty irritating. Yeah. So how long have you been there at the, with that company? Um, going on my ninth year, actually. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So almost 10 years you've yeah. been with them. Yeah. And um, that's given you, obviously, a great career, has yes. allowed you to be able to then, you know, walk out on faith or, yep. you know, step out on faith and Definitely. open your own company yes. while still working, mm -hmm. still being a full-time father. Yeah. Um, and that's amazing. I Thank mean, you. that's the most difficult job I know because I'm yeah. a single parent myself, so I know. And, um, you know, us moms, we get a lot of credit, especially on right. Mother's Day. You know, the whole world yeah. goes crazy. But fathers, Definitely. we know full-time fathers and great fathers, they just don't get the credit they deserve. And I so that. I salute you because yeah. I know personally that you are an amazing father. That's right. Your son is with you all the time. Yeah. Um, and you know, you've, you work real hard to ensure that he has a great life. And, um, I just, I salute you for that. I appreciate that. So, um, you, you were working at HA international. How long had you been working there when you decided you wanted to start your company? Uh, six years. You had been there six years. So what, happen what day like what what made you wake up and say you know what i'm about to llc i'm about to start my own company um i honestly because you first started right you were i used to just see you kind of doing it as a hobby right yes yes so i was just kind of like um cook and i will always just like play around with different desserts and fruit and stuff like that so um out the blue someone asked me could i make him a birthday cake yeah and I'm just like, yeah, okay, <laughs> you know, and I just made it. <laughs> and so and they, they asked you to, like, could they pay you to make yes, one? Uh -huh. Yes, yes, ma'am. And um, after that, honestly, it just took off from there, from that one cake. Wow. And it just never, I never looked back. So what that. was that first cake? It was a, um, it was actually an Oreo cake. It was a, uh, a white and chocolate oreo cake i think i remember that cake yeah. like i because yeah. i remember because i remember you always had me at home hungry <laughs> as hell like <laughs> posting all these pictures of all this food and i used to yeah. be at home hungry like man that looks so good yeah. and then you started um doing the this the sweet treats and the baking and then i remember seeing you post that like yep. i do now now that you're say, saying the story i remember when you posted that first picture like you know someone um, asked me to yep. make a cake, and yeah. this is my first paid you <laughs> yeah, know, cake, and um, and then yeah, you just took off. Next thing I know, you had uh, the boxes with the stickers on yeah. them, like the real bakeries, <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, dang, yeah. he's really doing it. So you know, I, it's just inspiring because you it happened so quickly, like it from did. the moment, like from when you started, and was like, I remember when you first like gave it the name, yeah. and you know, speaking of the name, Hattie's Cakes and Creations. Yes. Where'd you come up with that name and why is it so special to you? Um, the name is my granny name and um, it's special to me because 
without her, I, I wouldn't be sitting here having this conversation. She's, right. She she was my everything, you know, and through her, I kind of just continue to try to strive and continue to grow and um, try to galvanize myself to become a better man and entrepreneur and things of that nature. So um, it was only right that I named it after her because yeah. she was always my inspiration to do better in life. So um, and she taught me how to my way around the kitchen. So, right. Um, anything I knew I was going to do in life, I had to. You know, make sure she was a stable plate of that. So, yeah. And so, and I see you have her. Um, I'm looking at your chain. You got a, a beautiful emblem with her um, with her picture on it, and it has the the cooking utensils yeah, or the baking utensils. I love that. Definitely. So Thank you're you. always repping it. You're yeah, always repping her name. Definitely. You're always talking about how she inspires you and how she yes, is the reason. You are the man you are. And that's an amazing thing, you know, because there are so many men who go out there because they haven't, you know, maybe had a father in the picture or, you know, maybe they grew up under their mom or their grandmother or something like that. And they kind of go off, um, you know, they go off in a down a bad road, you know. And so instead you use that as your inspiration to want to do, you know, positive things and, you know, do things the right way, you know, work work hard, start your own company, and now you're doing what you love to do. Right. And um, you get the freedom to, you know, kind of, you you still work, which is great. I mean, you definitely got to, you know, hey, you have to have multiple (laughs) streams of income. You know, I'm not mad at that. But with when it comes to the baking and the doing the desserts, you kind of make your own schedule, do your own thing. So you're able to still be a full time dad. Right. And so talk about being a full time dad. Okay. Does your son live with you or is it kind of like a 50 50 or Um, his 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 mom mom is uh, very active in his life. But um, he primary is with me. Or whatnot. Um, it's a lot of personal reasons behind that, yeah. or whatever, what have you. Um, but um, he 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 coexists under both, quote unquote, yeah. or whatnot. But um, it's it's great. Like I I wouldn't trade being a father for the world. Yeah. It's um, it it's one of those things where you you learn every day. Like you can never perfect being a parent. So each day is a different learning, a different thing you learn about yourself and your kid. Right. So I look forward to those. 24 hours with him every day because right. it's it's um you can't think you got to figure it out yeah you know and they they continue to grow and I try to grow with him as he continues to grow yeah or whatnot so that's the that's the thing I look forward to the best I mean that's the thing I look forward to the most it's, it's just growing with him and you know watching him grow and just seeing the maturation in him but also got the chance to see the maturation in me as a man right or whatnot and um the father the father part just it was it was easy. Like be, I would say, that part was easy because it came natural. It was it was the part outside of that that was more the distractions and things of that nature. Because I knew what I was supposed to do with a kid in general, like right. just bringing him up and things of that nature or whatnot. So, but I enjoy it. It's, it's definitely a blessing. It's, it's yes, a blessing. absolutely. And you and his mom aren't in a relationship. So whenever no, you guys ended your relationship or decided to go your separate ways and was it always, um, you know, were you guys always civil like this? Were you always able to keep a great relationship and co-parent in a great way and share responsibilities and do, you know, just have a good relationship? Yeah, I, I think that's what made it easy. Yeah, is, is, is I was going to say that to, probably is what makes yeah. it easy. <laughs> yeah, knowing how to separate the personal when I knew the bigger picture was him. Yes. So it never, I never let whatever me and her discrepancies was to let it. Uh, distract me from being a parent and and to a degree it actually made me become a stronger parent and to also still you know you who don't want the um the happy household and and the two the mom and the dad under the same you know but you don't always get that or whatnot Mm -hmm. but you still do the best you can to make you don't have to stay under the same household to raise a good kid absolutely or whatnot so i use that and continue to still raise him up on true morals and always let him know to regardless of what I don't disrespect his mom and I make sure he don't ever disrespect his mom. And and that's how it absolutely should be. And so how, because there are so many, um, you know, people our age, you know, in our age group that we, they have kids together, they share children and they absolutely do not know how to get along. They can't get it together. The kids are caught in the middle. It's just this big old mess. How do you, what would you, say to those people like how are you able to um get past 
the whatever you know like you said you saw the bigger picture but how were you able like how were you able to get past those challenges for people who are experiencing you know challenges okay. and they just can't seem to find like a middle ground how were you able to create a civil relationship with the mother of your child um to be well, able to I go forward i always knew that um one thing you can never get back is time yeah so therefore i didn't want to miss out on things of his life, knowing that me and his mom wasn't seeing eye to eye, right. you know. So I've I've always kind of felt like um, I didn't I didn't want to do that. Like I, I I and I feel like in that situation, if I was to give advice, that would be my advice. Like you never can get that back. Yeah. For all those years you miss, those seconds, whatever. You can't you can't never buy your kid. Yeah. You can't never um, try to like force yourself in their life, you know, you know what I mean? Um, you just, you just have to kind of figure out a common ground and the kid is the common ground. Yeah. You know, you don't, you, you want to have a great relationship because you want to make sure that you don't have to be together or see eye to eye on everything, but you want to make sure when it comes to that kid, y'all have a mutual agreement or understanding. So the kid is brought up right. Really in today's world with so much going on and things of that nature, it's easy for kids to veer off and do other things. Really, if they constantly seeing the parents are bickering or at right, each other next right. or whatever. So they might get tired of hearing it and just veer off. So it's, it's best to kind of just like understand that the kid is the focal point yes. and make, and make sure that you understand that and you focal, you focus on him or her or whatever. And, um, you just, you just understand that that's really it. Like, right. you know what I mean? And, and, and you have to put the personal stuff aside. Yeah. Once you do that, I think that it's, that raising the kid becomes easier. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. And that makes total sense. And that's amazing that you Thank were you. able that at such a young age because you're not, you know, you're not that old. How no, old no, am I? Mean, I'm no, 35. 35 and obviously, you know, this was years ago when you right, discovered right, right. this. Right. And so there's, you know, men who are and women who are right. in their, you know, mid thirties, some forties and still have, you know, they're, they're just a mess, you know, yeah, definitely. and they don't, see that what they're doing is hurting the kids yeah. you know you're so mad at him he, he him he's so mad at you right. and the only person affected are these kids exactly you know you got the kids are in the middle and um especially now like with social media you see all yeah. these different videos <laughs> yeah, being exposed definitely. and it's just it's definitely. so sad like it's like i i seen one video um where and and of course like you know we don't know the history right, we don't right, know right. the back but right. still that video this this young guy was um just trying to get his daughter he had drove um to meet the girl and he he kept saying you know i just drove however many like he had drove like over an hour or something right, like right, that right. and he's like just give me my daughter and she she like wouldn't she just wouldn't give him the kid like right, she right. kept trying to say something like no let me put him in the, let me get put her in the car and he's like no just give me my daughter you don't okay. need to touch my car you don't need to come near my car right and it was just sad because it went on for like you know five six minutes and the and she's holding the little girl so the little girl's just sitting there just looking back and forth <laughs> right, and she right, look, right. you know what I mean it's just like it's heartbreaking like you see the little girl in the middle of it and she clearly wants to go with her dad and I don't know it's just sad and it's yeah. a, it's a lot of that that goes on because people are selfish definitely or childish immature you know so it I think that like you said it's really simple if you just you know yeah. think about the fact that your child is what's most important Definitely. and if you want your child to have the best life and to have right. happiness and peace you yeah. know <laughs> you have to be peaceful with the parent exactly. you know there's no way um there's no way that a child is going to grow up and have peace in their heart if they don't even have peace exactly. in their own home and then you know they get older and get to this age and now they're acting out right you know being troublesome or whatever yeah. and now you want to just whoop their ass right, but it's right, like right. you the one yeah. you the reason why they like yeah, that you that's know that's the root of the problem is the when it started the at home yeah so and then you know we see all these different videos again on social yeah, media of definitely. like the people um you know who going up to the schools and beating their kids like you know just cussing their kids out. right right, like, right right it's like that's not necessarily the kid is up at the school acting up right clearly this is what they've learned definitely, at home definitely. you know and definitely. so it is like you said i think it's just a matter of knowing what the common <laughs> the common interest and yeah, the common definitely. goal. I mean, the common goal is to make sure our our kid is happy, you know, well right. taken care of, and you know, just blessed. And so, you can't have that if the parents are constantly bickering and at odds. So, I definitely agree with you there. So, you've been in business. Um, how long? How long exactly have you been LLC with Hatt Hattie's Cakes and Cream? It's going on two years actually. Wow. Yeah, so, when when years. will your two year anniversary be? My uh, two year anniversary will, will be um, August of two, two, 
Uh, August of 2021. Okay, awesome. So you've been in business over a year. You've been doing really well. I've seen, oh, tell us some of the things that you, like some of the opportunities that you've been granted since you have went into business and since you've been doing your thing. Because I've been seeing mm -hmm. you all over the place doing all type of big things. So. Um, I have did, uh, well, this year was my first time doing a wedding cake. Um, I've did numerous um events like fruit wise at a lot of weddings receptions baby shower things of that nature i primarily just do a lot of birthday cakes and things of that nature um and um at, at first it was like one of those things it was a it was a love-hate relationship with it i yeah. wasn't because i don't eat sweets like i, really? I eat candy yeah <laughs> but i don't funny. yeah i don't i would uh, never guess that. right i don't eat um <laughs> like cakes and stuff like that really? um woke melon it just kind of yeah. never tasted the same right. after a while <laughs> that's funny but um yeah so I do a lot of uh, birthday cakes and um, whatever events, um, special occasions, things of that nature. And I'm um, like I said, it was love hate relationship at first. I wasn't that keen on it because I'm like, how do I want to do cakes? Like I'd always liked the fruit thing, but yeah. cakes was just like, do I want to? But then after a while, I kind of like I start doing it so much, I um, I start to you know love it or yeah. whatever, and mm -hmm. and realize how pivotal it was to a birthday party. Like right. I've, I've <laughs> never. Um, I used to get cakes as a kid growing up, but I never would eat them. My mom used to just get them for me, and I never would eat them. So I never really put that much stock into a birthday cake right. or whatnot. But I, I see now how pivotal it is to a party and things how of that nature. How happy it makes yeah, people when they definitely. get their cakes, right? Definitely. Like I even be seeing people, like, they're post, they're, they be so happy. Yeah. They, they do. They, them cakes be sweet. I be like, dang. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely a different um Type of cake world than it was when I was growing up, yeah, getting a, a normal sheet not, cake compared not to no stuff we no we, right yeah. right so <laughs> um, but yeah so it, that's pretty much it and um, I enjoy it I enjoy the um, the ups and downs of it um, just just growing and learning a lot of different things um, I learned a lot about uh, just customer service uh, right, I learned right. a lot about my patience and um, yeah. things of that <laughs> nature um, and it's pretty cool I just I looked at it as just um, wanting more for myself besides just and nothing against it um but i i woke up not wanting to just be everyday nine to five type worker you mm -hmm. know what i mean i i want to really have something that my name was behind yeah or whatnot and you know hopefully continue to work hard and i can you know leave it to my son and things of that Absolutely. nature or whatnot or just grow it another avenue from here so yeah. i just feel like this was just um a seed that was planted and I just look forward to continue to seeing what other olive branches grow out of it or whatnot. So I don't really look at um, Hattie's Cakes as just it. It You know, this is just a small foundation of things to come. Awesome. I, I feel that. I love that. So with your son, you know, you said add it down to him one day. Um, do you guys get in the kitchen? Does he get in there with you and help you bake the cakes um, and frost or what? He, he cracks Decorate. eggs. <laughs> He cracks eggs. Yeah, and then um, there and, and help for a hot second, and then he'd be like, I'll be right back. And then I don't, <laughs> you I don't go back to the game, him. huh? Yeah, and I don't see him again. And uh, well, then he'll come back around like, uh, do you got you got a cupcake you're not using or something like that? Aww. And so I always try to keep him a cupcake uh, leftover or whatever. But um, that's pretty much it. When I used to cook a lot, he used to help me do that. But now we kind of like roommates now so it's like <laughs> he's living his own little world and i live in mine right they get to that age and they just got their own little life yeah definitely like. <laughs> definitely so it was pretty cool yeah that's cool is that something that you guys can bond with you know it's it's nice that he does come out at some moment right 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 to help and get involved and get in the kitchen with you because that gives you guys that quality time right and right at right. the same time he's learning and he yeah, doesn't definitely. even realize so over the years as he gets older and older it probably will be something right, he'll yeah. end up you know going into just because right. of you yeah right. I mean, i'm quite i mean most little boys that are close with their dads they look at their dad yeah, like their definitely. hero you know they right. want to be just like their dad so i'm quite sure he's probably gonna take on i hope so <laughs> the the family business <laughs> so you said you would love to build it build your enterprise into, yeah, definitely. into bigger things what are some other industries or um you know fields you you've thought about or ventured off into because um, i've thought about like w with my business like i want to later on in life once i'm really established i want to go off into other industries too okay what are some of the industries you've thought of um fruit i love doing fruit um so i've, I've thought about you know doing that more and more and opening up something like a um where you come in and stuff like that um just healthy healthy eating and smoothies and things so of that like nature. A, um 
what's that one place? Uh, kind of like that place Piata where they have the nice yeah. fruit salad. Right, right, right. Yeah, okay, something yeah. of that nature or whatnot. Yeah, um, I like that. Something tapping into like that avenue more strongly um, or whatnot. Um, I always think cakes will be around, but I don't want it to be my strong suit. Like I, I want it to just be just something small there, but I don't want it to be something that I'm constantly known for yeah. after a while. So you don't want to like you you're not thinking of opening like a bakery and having at first I did I, I I thought that was what I was you know aiming for but now I don't I don't foresee that I more or less like my goal now is to open up a salad bar yeah so um like I say cakes will be there yeah, and I'm not sure absolutely. what <laughs> where I will set it at once I right. uh, figure it out but mm -hmm. right now um, my main goal is to open up a salad bar so you're focusing your time mm -hmm. and energy like more on that now yeah so Powerful. I kind of like twindle down on taking so many orders and things of that nature going forward through the uh, end of this year going into next year because that's where I want to start shifting my focus towards um, going into 2021 is more or less salads fruit salads and things of that nature so okay. um a different name and a different you gonna be thing. making pasta salads um, i love uh, pasta salad <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. Pasta salad is, you, you know, I mean, that, that's a salad. Yeah, you gotta it is. Gotta make a lot of people salad. ask me about and that. Then, and then, like, um, there's this one lady I used to work at this club, and this one lady used to come in there with um, pasta salads in the little Tupperware bowl. She used to sell them for ten dollars a piece. Okay. But she used to make it with shrimp, and it's and it's like I don't even know what type of sauce she used okay. to use, but man, it was amazing, <laughs> and it was the best pasta salad I've ever had in my life. Okay. And she used to clean up because they was just them little, you know, those little Tupperware. Right, right, right. She used to get ten dollars, like ten dollars okay. for each one of them, okay. and she used to have a whole cooler full of them, and okay. she used to clean up. <laughs> okay, but they were really good, so you should think about that. I, I did salad, salad. I did a, a salad sale um, way before I did cakes, and it, and the and how it took off and how it was. I just felt like that was what I really was supposed to do. Yeah, like because I, you know people are so into being fit now. Right, you right. know, and this whole yeah. vegan. Um, right. My boy Jesse, <laughs> if he was here, he's usually here, but okay. he ain't here today. But he's a vegan okay, now, okay. and Vic's a vegan. Okay. And so you know, yeah, that that lots of people are okay. becoming aware and okay. you know trying to be more fit yeah, and definitely. more healthy, which is a great thing. It so is. yeah, right. You, you're right. That is definitely something to tap right, into. Right, I right. agree. So with um. 2020 this right this crazy year we've right, had right, right. um we lost kobe right right <laughs> then covid came right. like yeah. man this has just been crazy yes it has has covid affected your business and um did you have to you you obviously had to stop at some point right and shut down or did you um did you not shut down or were you it's still funny <laughs> because um i i did not i i will say it has uh heightened it to a degree um I hadn't it heightened your business. Yes. Wow. Um, <laughs> as, I don't know. I don't know how or whatever. <laughs> but uh, just looking at the numbers and just looking at from where I was last year compared to where I'm at this year, it just kind of like the numbers are just through the roof or wow, whatnot. That's um, amazing. And um, only thing it did is just you know make you be more aware and um, just safe. You know things of that yeah. nature. But um, it didn't affect me as far as just like um, financial wise at all. Um, it, it was actually. A gift and a curse or yeah. whatnot um and so i was i was thankful for i was thankful for that or whatnot and um i continue to strive and persevere through it all and you know continue to um do way better numbers than i expected or whatnot and um i'm thankful for that and i've always uh tried to acknowledge all the um customers and people that supported me throughout it all and things of that nature um it's so it's so many of them i wish i could name and thank them all yeah. or whatnot <laughs> but um i definitely appreciate the business and the support and things of that nature because um i wouldn't be where i'm at now without without support or Absolutely. whatnot so um that's that's a real big thing for me um or whatnot is the people that continue to back me and support me and sometimes it's not about um, the shares and the likes and things of that nature because you got a lot of silent supporters who root for you mm -hmm. and they don't have to like be on the forefront for Absolutely. you but they're they're continuing to cheer you on and, and they want the best for you yeah so that that means a lot to me because i i, I kind of know the genuine people that's that's out there or whatnot so that, that definitely is big for me yeah i agree and that's amazing that like you said the numbers this year surpassed which right. you did last year right. and, you're looking, and it's it's crazy because i've many um people in my life you know who are business owners and um you know view their finances from last year to this year and 
it's almost like everyone that I've spoke to about that has said kind of like the same thing. Like okay. that this year, I mean, yeah, we had COVID, but I was I was still cool. Like right, I, right, I see, right. matter of fact, I saw more than what I've seen the year prior. Right. And I just think that's an amazing blessing because I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm a, a believer. You know, okay. I believe in God and I know that he's real. Right. And I, although I know that COVID is serious Definitely. and it's real and it's here, I I believe that God is in control of all definitely, of this, definitely, you know, and definitely. all he did was show us that he can sit us down and right. stop us whenever he wants to. Right, definitely. And he showed us, I'm going to sit you down and stop you, but I'm still going to take care of you. Right, right, right. I'm going to show you how I'm still going to take care of you. Right. I'm going to stop you from going to work. I'm going to stop you from going to school. I'm going to stop you from visiting your family. Right. You got to shut yourself off to the world. And some people was in their house alone, mm -hmm. literally yeah. alone, like with yeah, nobody. You know, thank God right. I had my kids and right, my mom, right, right. you know, because I, I, man, I don't know how that would have been to be like just alone with nobody. But he, a lot he, of he must have kind of like um, overlooked me or something because I didn't. My job <laughs> fell under essential, so I, I literally haven't stopped working wow. all year. So you like, were an essential worker. Yeah. So yeah. I, I literally like um, from well, bacon. Thank you for your service. I appreciate it. Um, from bacon to work, bacon to work. Literally since since Fabric. every day, you know, no, every day. <laughs> like, so I, I didn't I didn't get a chance to to, uh, to take, take a, a break. break. No, wow. I definitely didn't. So, so it was good and bad, you know, yeah. because a lot of places um, wasn't able to recover from it. Right. You, you know, yeah. so a lot of I mean, a, lot a lot of, of people things went are, under. Yeah, mm -hmm. it did. So um, it was a, it, like I say, it goes back to it was a gift and a curse type thing or whatever. So um, and everything I'm a big believer of everything happens for its own particular reasons Absolutely. or whatnot. So I'm able to. Still continue to flourish and stay afloat um, with bacon and also with other things with my workforce um, on my second job or whatnot. Right. So that's pretty cool too. And so you said that you're um, a lead operator now. Yes. So that means you've gotten a couple raises. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Got a little definitely. couple promotions. Yeah, yeah. I, I have. <laughs> I've, I've been promoted. Uh, like I said, I've been there going on. It'll be nine years in December, um, and I have been promoted through the nine years uh, three times. Yeah, I've been since I've been hired in Amazing. or whatnot. So I'm thankful for that to uh, see all my hard work there pay off. Yeah, or whatnot. So that's pretty cool. As yes, because well. that's what count. That's what yeah, makes definitely. it count. You know, definitely. And I think it's so important. The reason why I ask that is because I want my listeners and the people who view this to hear you say, you know, it's it is important to work hard right. so that you can go out and start yeah, this company definitely. and do what you want to do. But also. What have you learned? What do, what do you think you've learned on your job? Okay. That has transferred over into your business now. Like how you said, you know, you was like you said earlier um, that starting this business has, you know, taught me more about myself, right. more about my patients, more about this. But do you think that was all in there all along and that it came, a lot of it came from like you being um, an employee of another company and having to put in that work and work hard and be responsible? Right. You know, follow rules. Right. Like, was that kind of did that make it easier when you went into doing business to be able to have great customer service and, um, and deal with difficult people? <laughs> and, you know, it, it, it did. It, it definitely played a um, a strong part into it because um, learning the things I learned at my um, at HAI uh, it installed in in things into me that like just as a man right. and, and things I had to endure and and grow and and persevere through so um dealing with people um the difference was uh, i deal with a lot of people now and i have to learn how to um separate like the business part from you know me as a person type thing so i have to learn how to kind of like um articulate myself better I, I have to move different um because more people are watching you because you you have to conduct yourself as a business right and so um but like I say, from the HAI, it learned, it taught me a, a different type of patience that um, I wouldn't have never learned at any other job. I feel and discipline. Yeah, like mm -hmm. and so it just, it just was like, like I said, there were a lot of chemicals. Um, I was literally dealing from the bottom to get where I'm at now at the company. So it was like yourself and show right. you belong there. And um, it's not a normal, it's not a normal plant. It's not yeah. a normal place. People think kind of like plan or factory type work. Um, because it's not, um, it's only six people that works there. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you don't have a whole bunch of people wow. there. So it's it's kind of like you, you, and I'm like the youngest person there and the youngest person 
um, far as like um, years and far as like when I came in the door, I was the just like, like I said at the bottom. So mm -hmm. I learned how to continue to prove myself and work hard. And now I'm quote unquote head of the class or whatever. And I'm um, I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful to to be able to continue to have a strong mindset and to be goal minded and knew what I had to take care of outside of that plant to keep me focused and to keep me yes. pushing forward and things yeah. of that nature. So um, the job kind of taught me to know, okay, you can you can do more right. or whatever. And like I say, I I I didn't want to be known if I ever was to walk away from that. I, I I know that helped me open up that other door to where I'm at with Hattie's Cakes or whatever. And I'm yeah. using Hattie's Cakes to now hope help me open up an even bigger door and things right, of that nature right. or whatnot. So um, everything all has everything has its own purpose behind it. Right, because um, you know. Since we are both believers, at the end of the day, we know that God has a purpose for right. all of us, and He put a gift inside of us, right? Um, so that we can live out His will. At the end of the day, that's what this is all about, right? And you know, He gives us these gifts so that we can at least have something that we love to do right. too, you know. But you have to still work hard and be disciplined, be Definitely. responsible, and you know can't never take your feet off the pavement that's for no, sure you, definitely you know can. And, um, definitely can't do that. a lot of people say you know i i i don't want to work for nobody i ain't about to be working for nobody right. but it's like if you can't work for nobody then how are you gonna work and how are you gonna have somebody work for you right if you can't work for right, somebody right, you know right, what i mean right. like and me and trees say this all the time on the morning show um you know trees i think actually said it first um you know that you can't what does he say, Dewan? He says you can't lead without love. You can't serve. You can't see how to mess it okay. up. <laughs> but whatever it is, it sounds good. Right, right, when he right, says right. it, okay. it comes out right. <laughs> okay, okay, but basically okay. the point is, you know, you can't be a leader until you've been, you know, someone following someone. And you that's, know? The, that's the staple play of a good leader. Like mm -hmm. um, a leader had to follow someone before he became exactly. a leader. You, you know what I mean? So that, and that's the how going back to kids, like I don't lead follow me i lead him to become better than me right so i don't i don't want him to i don't want him to follow his my his footsteps i mean my footsteps i want him to create his own bigger ones and, and better ones and things of that nature so i always teach him how to do things from off my own mistakes so he can become an even better man than i was and i'm okay with that absolutely and so what what type of values do you instill in him when you talk to him and you have these conversations? What are the things that you harp on the most? Like, what do you tell him as a young man? These are the things you need to. And even like, you know, just with everything going on in our world right. and, you know, all this po police brutality and, um, you know, do, do you have those conversations? Yes, like, you I, know, I, I as, as a young black man, what do you say to him? What are some of the things that you guys talk about? father to son um what do you think is important that you talk to him about constantly um well, since since he was maybe three i've always installed it in, into him stay focused yeah and, that, and 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 that's any any conversation i have ever have with him that's the first thing i start off with is focus yeah and i always let him i always tell him the things in life you post to pride yourself on always keep your word um always be respectful and always tell the truth, regardless of the consequences that come behind it, because you can you can live with that instead of, you know, if you like, and I don't care how meticulous it is or or tedious, always tell the truth, regardless, like yeah. no matter what. Um, I always tell him respect his mom. That, that's top one of the things. And yeah. I always tell him, like, you know, um, you're not going to always agree with me and your mom and things that we say and do like that. But um, always show respect for, yeah. for your elders in general. And um, I think he. He, he galvanizes around that well and um but far as things that happen outside in the world um i always just let him know um control things you can control um rule number one never be a follower yeah never be a absolutely. follower um and and what i mean by that you know like you were saying you have to learn how to follow before you can become a leader but i let him know like don't don't do what you think is cool don't right. you know what i mean or don't you know granted you're gonna make mistakes you're gonna yeah. make a couple bad choices and mm -hmm. things of that nature but don't make that the the staple plate of your life to, yeah. to know okay all you all you do is just keep on making mistakes. i'm gonna get it right i'm gonna get right, it right right you know minimize that you, yeah. you know what i mean and um I, I talk to him like i will want another man talking to me right i don't sugarcoat anything i i give it to him direct and what it what it is so therefore as he as he grow and mature out here in this world nothing surprises him nothing i don't want nothing to be like oh i wasn't prepared for this 
So I do my best to to give him as I see it. And and I want him to understand it and know it. So therefore he's not uh embossed to know like like I'm shocked. Like this is a, this, this is crazy out here. I, I let him know that um life it, it takes no prisoners. Like it, it's gonna do what it wants to do with you if you let it. So you have to control your life and things yeah. of that nature or whatever. You have to like um create your own path. Sometimes you're gonna have to deviate away from it a little bit, but always know the direction you're going into. You know what I mean? And the and the goals that you're focused on. And and have them set for you. You know what I mean? Don't just continue to let time pass you by and you look up and you you 18 and you don't know what you want to be with yourself. You know what right. I mean? Now you you sit here, you know, so I always let them know like ha have a have a goal. You right. know what I mean? And and have a goal outside of that goal and just continue to strive for and things of that nature. But I also let them know right now, just let them know to have fun. Yeah. Enjoy enjoy your life now. You you know what Absolutely. I mean? Um because um it does get serious. It's just things just is inevitable, you know what I mean? And so um but it, and enjoy your years and he does. He 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 still, you know, he's twelve years old and he, he's just a kid, you know, and he lives like a kid. He doesn't get too far out. Granted, he's aware of social media and things of that nature and um he's not blind to anything. Yeah. So um but we, we monitor it well. So and he and I talk to him to know why we monitor it well. Like those things can wait. It'll be there. Yeah. You know, you don't have to think I'm because I'm a, uh, I was your age. So I know, you know, the things you're going to want to see. I know the things that you're going right. to be enticed <laughs> to see. You know what I mean? So um, things of that nature. And I let them know that's that's cool. You know what I mean? But the thing is, it's OK to rush it. And I'm, I'm so thankful and blessed to be able to have a conversation with him because I didn't get those conversations. Yeah. You know what I mean? I kind of so just I had to like learn, Shit, right, it, you know what I mean? Right. So myself. So. Um, and it, it feels good having them the, yeah. uh, to have that open line of communication with them to let them know, um, no matter how awkward it is or embarrassed, you always have me and your mother to come conversate with and let us know what's on your mind. Anything yeah. you're curious about, anything you don't understand, anything you you hear or whatever, always feel that you can come talk to us. No matter how busy I am, I will stop doing what I'm doing to make sure that you have clear understanding and clarification on what it is you may be confused about. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. And that's so important because we were talking about that on the morning show the other day, um, how uh, Trace was yelling in the mic. Y'all better stop yelling at your <laughs> damn kids. <laughs> but no, we were we were saying that because, you know, I was saying like, you know, I used to be one of those. Right, 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 right. A whole lot of yelling and okay. cussing. But, you know, it came with growth and becoming a better woman just okay. in general and then wanting to be a better mother, like okay. learning how to communicate right. better learning how to just talk to my kids Definitely. it's so much more effective you right. know it, and, it is um when you lead with love as we right, said right, you right. know and just talk to them uh when i explain things to my daughter you know i mean she's 14 so she okay. don't have that attitude right, you know? right, i get right. the attitude whatever when <laughs> right. she don't get what she wants i get i gotta deal with her attitude but um when i really sit back and explain things to her like you know she'll catch her little fit i'll okay. let her go off go ahead Stomp off to your room, slam right, the door, right, right. whatever. Then she'll come back. You know, usually okay. she'll come back a little while and, you know, try to get me again. Well, please, mom. <laughs> and then I say, no, Bri. And then I have to, I'll okay. tell her, listen, this is why. I'm not just trying to be mean. I'm okay. not trying to be strict. I'm, right. This is why I feel this way about this. This okay. is why I don't want you to go. This is why I don't want you to do that. It's right. for a reason. Like, definitely. it's dangerous out here. Yeah, you know, these kids is. are dying out here yeah, in the streets. Definitely. Like. Definitely mommy is scared right, right you know right, what i'm saying right. that's that's real talk right. and so when i talk to her and tell her those things and i'm real with her just like that right it's way more effective yeah, you know definitely. and so we do we have to as parents learn how to be um open to communicating in a in a more positive way and definitely. not always just you know ah! right you know? yeah definitely definitely yeah. um so you was talking about social media um a second ago with your son um, being is, does he have like his own social media page? He has um, TikTok, like you oh, know okay. that's, yeah, that's that's basically the new what. Yeah, he, with the kids. he's he's um, he's just YouTube and TikTok. Oh, um, okay, yeah. he's not into uh, Facebook and um, Instagram, Snapchat. So you, he he did have Snapchat, um, but it got deleted off his phone. <laughs> Mom didn't want him to have it. And I didn't either. Um, oh, that's what I was gonna ask. So was there any situations where something happened? He was like, oh nah, bro. Uh, well, I kind of <laughs> it, it didn't happen. I just knew what goes on with it. Right. So I was just like, I'm going to uh, prevent this before, right. you yeah, know what I mean? Be a so, proactive. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I, I allow him to have a uh, tick tock and, um, and he's just that in YouTube yeah. or whatnot. Yeah. And, um, and that's pretty much it. And I try to 
minimize them from being on this phone so much because it, it is a distraction. Yeah. It, you know, even yeah. us as adults, we yeah. Oh, yeah. we can kind of find ourselves with that mug in our in our hand for hours at a time and we don't even know the how much time then passed by Man, or, because it's, it's used for so many different yeah, things now. And I was gonna say because even if you are doing positive, productive things, right, yeah. it's still too long. Yeah, like we're spending definitely. way too much time definitely. in our phones looking at our phones. Definitely. Um, yeah, it's crazy. And with social media, I know for I mean, that's why as business owners nowadays yeah. it we have this leg up now because right, right. yeah, you definitely. Know, we didn't nobody had social media back in the definitely. day and you had to pay for advertising. Right. Agents were getting so much money right. back then. Right. You know, because and the T V stations because they that's they sell them advertising dollars. You know, people had no choice but to advertise definitely. on the radio and on T V. Now we got social media, everybody can advertise on their own, you yeah, know. Right. Uh Kylie Kylie Jenner made a, a billion dollars right. basically, yeah, basically off off Instagram, you yeah. know, playing in makeup and right. <laughs> you know, and um she she attributes all her marketing to um Instagram. She says okay. she ain't pay for she paid she paid basically little to no marketing. Okay. So how how well has social media affected your business? Like do you feel like it's it's grown and done the numbers that it's done because of social media? Or do you think it would have done that anyway or um the- Social media, if I had to break it down in percentages, um, so I will give social media um, probably 75 percent, honestly. Oh, okay. um, and uh, right now I will, I will give it 50 uh, percent. But as I started, it was it was 75, 80 percent because that's all I had. Like right. it was it was it was just that's really it. Like it yeah. wasn't like I was working and then it was like, OK. I cook post something, pictures, I post a picture yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And um and social media is, is honestly a huge part of why I even took it serious or whatnot. So I pay a lot of dividends to that. Um it it, it, ha- it definitely has um helped me out tremendously financially or whatnot because it's just word of mouth is real word yeah. of mouth is real yeah, big. Like it's it's, it's a real is, big thing yeah. or whatnot. And um, you know, like I say, um you really when you, you do good by someone, they're easier to Oh, I know such and such or, or you know, tagging things of that nature. And like I say, I'm very gracious and grateful um, for for it all. Like yeah. um, I've met so many um, tremendous people just just from handing a cake off to them. You, you know what I mean? And all these different avenues and things of that nature to different circles and different people you can just be equated with to talk amongst anything or whatnot. Yeah. So um, and I, I owe a lot to, you know, to social media or whatnot, because I wouldn't have been able to be um, doing the business that I'm doing now. You know, are you still going to put the legwork in and continue to push it forward Mm -hmm. to grow if that's what you really want to do? But um, social media definitely uh, played a lot of part into it. Yeah, yeah, it definitely does wonders. I mean, especially for us, what we do and, you right. know, just trying to be in the public eye, trying to gain a following. Definitely. Uh, you know, we trying to get a check. So right, right, <laughs> you right. That follow. Definitely. So, um, you know, but yeah, social media, like even with the Rising Grind Morning Show, it's taken off and done such, I mean, we've done numbers we, we didn't even believe, okay. like in the first week. Like we was like, we were like, wow. Okay. And, and it, you know, every week it just grows and grows. And, you know, like you said, I mean, we all we can do is thank everybody, thank definitely, the supporters, definitely. because without them, like we wouldn't wouldn't be able to do it, definitely. you know. So, um, yeah, it's definitely dope to have the support and the love from people in the community and your family and right. you know, all of that. Um, it definitely plays a um, part. Then having good um, like in a, a plateau like this is it's. Um, you, you can talk about so many different things. You can have those awkward conversations. Yeah. You can have those debates. And, yeah, we you know do it all I mean? the time. You know, so stuff like that. <laughs> and it, it continues to grow, grow, and yeah. grow, and grow, because people be eager to hear what you guys say or eager to hear who you're talking to today. You've been tuning in? I, I glance here and there. Uh, or you whatnot. better be tuning I, in. I glance here and there or whatnot. Um, <laughs> that's what's up. But, but yeah, like, and, I appreciate and so, that. <laughs> thank you. Um, but yeah, like, and that's the thing, like, because you, like I say, when you, you're not doing anything or whatever, and you, yeah. you know, you don't, a lot of people don't watch TV, or right. they or they watch it off their phone, right? Ain't or nobody whatever. watching TV no yeah, more. So like <laughs> you, you'd be like, okay, I'm gonna see who four one nine grind was, who they was debating with today, or <laughs> who, who was the topic today, or whatnot. I love and you it. continue to grow from yeah, there, or whatnot. Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. That's what's up. So um, today was um, the first day of early voting, right? Early voting, and um, did you vote? No, I haven't voted yet. yet. No, I haven't. Um, you're registered to vote. I am registered. Yes. You're gonna vote. Um, I'm. I'm How you feeling to... about voting? Um, tell me. Tell me what you really think. 
Oh, that's a good question. Um, I, I, I have to really take some time to really um, dig deep, deep, I said deep, uh, deep <laughs> deeply into it um, or whatnot. The, it's such it's such chaos in it. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And and, um, you know, politics within its, its own right is um, it's difficult or whatnot. And we see so many things with um, with the president we have at at bay now. And it's just like you 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 kind of like. Anything is better than that, you know what I mean? So you think like anything, right. you know what I mean? So you, you, but you have to also be conscious of knowing like if, po- like politics is just so tricky. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? So oh, it's yeah. like you, you, you think like okay, like I say, you see what we have for these years, and you think like um, a person off the street can do better than what he did. But then you, you, you vote someone in to get him out, and a lot of people don't know as deeply what they're voting for. They right. just think okay, right. I want him out. So it's like you have to really understand and know what this person stands for yeah. and things of that nature and and, and and so that's kind of like what i do i just try to like do as much research as i can or whatever and sometimes i just feel like it's you know sometimes you just have to sit it out or whatever yeah. but um so that's kind of like what i'm doing now just sitting just sitting back kind of like so you um, gonna sit it out or are you gonna vote? no i'm gonna vote okay. I, i'm definitely Good. that's gonna what vote. i wanted to hear okay vote. okay i just kind of like <laughs> I, I and i have people who like uh, in my ear telling me I better vote yes, too. So you it's like, I'm, I'm about to you know be in your ear. You better vote. So, um, <laughs> I, I'm definitely, like I say, I just want to, you know, you want to make sure um, you don't want to live under that umbrella thinking like, oh, do mine really mean anything? I'm right. just this little person. So you, you, you kind of can't think like that. So if you have the time, if you have the, the resources, just, just try looking, you know, get more clarity and understanding what you're voting for. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and and why you're voting for this person yeah. or whatnot. Nah, so that's kind of like where I'm where I'm at or okay. whatever. I like I that. Been, I like so. that. Okay. Well, you know, we're going to be bringing the show to a close, but I do want to ask you one more thing okay. before we go, because we were talking about this on the morning show, okay. uh, you know, about child support. Okay, okay, and okay. Um, since, you know, we were just talking a little while ago about, you know, the relationship between you and your mo- your son's mom and that you guys have a great relationship, which is great. Okay. So what are your thoughts on child support? Are, do you guys have child support involved and did it help? help you did it hurt you guys did it cause drama did it not cause drama like what are your thoughts with child support system um i'm gonna be honest uh i've i've I've, anthony like i said he's 12 years old um i've never since he's been born paid child support Um, i've never had to i've never been in that situation um i'm thankful and i will just say a small bit of why i don't pay child support because um i've never had to be in a position to have to pay child support like um there never has been a chance. Never has been a, um, where my son, mom has ever needed me to do something for him because it comes easy. It comes willingly. Yeah. Like I, I don't need no one telling me what I need to do for my son right. or whatnot. I don't need a, the legal system or his mom to do it. I know. Mm-hmm. I know. I pay. It was just already. Done. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I took part in conceiving him, so I'm gonna take part in raising him and make sure he's he's not only mentally emotional but financially stable. Um, I feel that any any man who isn't um, spending time with their kid um, and not helping out, they they deserve to pay child support yeah. or whatnot. Um, and the, the sad part about that is it goes back to early on. A lot of men that is paying child support, they take that as time. They use yeah, that they as time. Yeah, they take it out like, on the kid and yeah, like, oh, so well, they I ain't feel gonna like, be here. Yeah, and so, the money. Mm-hmm. Right, and it, it, and it is unfortunate. It's very because unfortunate. Because the, the child loses either way. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and so they, and you know, and on the other hand, unfortunately, it is some mothers who use the, the money for yeah. the child support and they don't go on the kids. So yeah. it, it, it sucks on both parts yeah. or whatever, mm-hmm. but I do feel that um, I will say any man, that, any man that's not advocate in their kid's life to just do more. You know yeah. what I mean? Don't, don't just hinge your hopes on, okay, they taking this money out of my check every day, so, you know, that's enough. You know, step up, show more uh, support and things of that nature, and don't don't look at it to do to prove a point for the woman. Do it because you owe it to the kid. Right. You know what I mean? And, um, but it, you don't you don't want those to think like, oh, I only got four more years left, and, right. you know what I mean? Right. But, and that, that whole time, you've missed all those years right. in their life right. or whatnot. Yeah. So, but I do feel that um, if you're not helping and the legal system has to force you to help, you know, you got to chalk it up and, you know, let it 
take care of it. You know what yeah. I mean? But it sucks. I definitely yeah. think it sucks or whatever. Um, that's a great take. I think that's a very fair take. I like that's a real man take because, you know, a lot of guys would have a different take or they'll say, you know, whatever. They feel some type of way about it. Right. But it's like you said, I mean, if the man isn't taking if the man or woman, if the man or woman, if the yeah, man definitely. or woman isn't taking care of their kid and has to be forced then you gotta pay child yeah support. definitely, if, definitely. You know, if you're, like you said i mean most times if you really are truly a good parent a yeah. good dad and you're doing whatever you know you and the mom are able to yeah. come to a middle ground and you do you know you make her life easier right 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 nine times out of ten she's not gonna go down no, right support, right know, so. yeah, yeah but i like that take so yeah, I appreciate thank you for that, that. i like I that so that. well i appreciate you coming in to oh, sit down you, with me you, this you, has been you. a <clears throat> great conversation and um, me. again i couldn't uh, congratulate you, Thank you. on um, Hattie's Cakes and Creations, all your business, all your success, that. all appreciate the blessings. I, I wish you it. many, many more. I know you're going to go beyond. You likewise, know. likewise. And, um, you know, I'll be ordering the cake real soon here. You know, I got a, I got a first birthday coming <laughs> right, up right, right, <laughs> real soon. Right. Remember, I told you I was going to order the baby shower cake and oh, then right, dang right. COVID happened and <laughs> yeah, I couldn't even have a baby right. shower. So, yeah. That's so right. first birthday coming up and I'll be getting with you. I appreciate so, it. Thank I appreciate you. It. So thank you for stopping in. Oh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And thank you all for tuning in again for another episode. I appreciate all the love and support. Thank you for everything you do, watching the morning show, watching my show, just um, showing all the support to the 419 Grind and Leah Renee. We appreciate you. And until next time. Mwah.